Kenji wins fatality. Hey there, friends. Yesterday we did a review and a great strategy for the second tower of Relic Hunt. Today we'll try to do the same for the third tower. <clears throat> Most of the people say the tower is easier because there is no jade boss. Jade bosses can be pretty tricky, but what I'm gonna tell you is you can use absolutely the same strategy on every boss that grows stronger as the time progresses. I'm not gonna use any special attacks until I get to my x-rays. I'll explain why and how it's gonna help you in a few seconds. For now, let's try to pick the best team possible. So again, there are a few must-have characters that if you have, you probably want them in your team unless they're much weaker than your strongest character. So again, we're gonna do the same principle. We're gonna sort our characters by attack, decreasing. We're gonna pick our strongest uh, spec up team. Let's see. My god, I don't have any good spec ups at all. Oh, Kenshi! Silver Kenshi is my strongest spec up. My boy is maxed out. Cold War Sonya, oh my god, yes, thank you. And Classic Sonya, okay, so this is my strongest spec up team. Looks pretty OP, I know. But Kenshi is silver, so you gotta count. My, he's almost the same as my Cold War Sonya blade. So there are a few must have characters that if you have them among your few next characters, you probably wanna use them. I would say Balance Kenshi is one of them. But uh, I would probably replace my classic Sonya with Balance Kenshi. You need to think about defeating the boss. Forget about all the battles before the boss, because those are going to be pretty easy compared to the boss. Cold War Sonya is number one, the must character. If you have her, put her in your team. I have her, I put her in my team, she's gonna wreck. Silver Kenshi is gonna be good if you don't have any other strong spec up characters. As you see, you can get your Kenshi up to 14k attack. And uh, paired with another spec up, he's gonna get some damage boost, and it's gonna be amazing. So, Cold War Sonya, first must have characters. Then, Classic Raiden, obviously. That guy can wreck anything. His tech attack is super useful. The power drain, some health drain. Classic Raiden, no shit. Spec up Scorpion, obviously. If you have him, he's gonna be an amazing character. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those guys, so. I, I, at least I have Cold War Sonya. Cold War Sonya is definitely a very strong character and she's gonna help you absorb that one X-ray attack that you don't want yourself to get killed too. So I'm pretty sure this team is gonna be uh, super easy to defeat uh, my uh, opponents. I can even go a little bit lower I think, but I just don't wanna. I just wanna show you how you select your team. You, you definitely want your strongest spec up characters in your team. And even if you don't have any of those must-have characters, you still have a pretty good chance. But the strategy I'm gonna tell you today is a little bit different, probably, from what you're used to. Let's just go through the first battle really quickly. I mean, first, six battles. Th these are gonna be super easy. I completely forgot to give my guys some gear. So for Kenshi, definitely want Center Blade. If you got Center Blade, give it to Kenshi. Why I love Kenshi is it, it he makes getting to X-ray faster much easier. You already start with one bar of power, so it's it's pretty useful. Again, if you have any power generation equipment, give him. Give him give him guys every single regeneration equipment. The best regeneration equipment. I mean power generation, give it to your strongest character. In my case, it's gonna be Sonya Blade. So, to this guy, I'll just give something... I don't know, something like Bladed Hat. I don't even care. I mean, I don't have any good gear, honestly. So, if you do, give him the best power generating and damage increasing gear that you have. It's gonna be very useful. For my Sonya, my strongest damage dealer. Well, Same. technically my Kenshi is probably my strongest damage dealer. Wait, I have two Kenshis in my team. Kenshi. Sorry, Gold Kenshi, my Silver Kenshi is getting sent to Blade because he is more important. And this guy, Special 3, is gonna wreck, so I'm gonna give him Storm Hat. And I'm gonna give him... Um, 
why don't I have Soul Medallion? Because I pretty sure there was a Ermac challenge and I'm pretty sure I completed it. How come I don't have Soul Medallion? That's a little bit sad, but I'll give this guy I don't I don't want to give one guy too much power generating equipment, so I'll keep my Dragon Essence for Sonya Blade. Subtle tattoo. I'll, I guess. I mean, come on. Doesn't matter. I'm not gonna use a special two in the boss battle anyway. At least I'm not planning to. Make sure all the X-rays are maxed out Same. as well. It's gonna be very important because I'm not gonna be fighting. Uh, I mean, if you have not very strong team, doing special attacks as soon as you can is probably not the best idea, especially versus the boss that becomes stronger as the more damage you deal to him. So you probably want to deal as little damage as possible at the beginning, collect a lot of power and then just do a massive x-ray, three x-rays in a row in the end to finish him off so he doesn't even get that boost ever in the, during the battle. That's gonna be your best bet. So military vest, combat knife for some extra damage boost and dragon essence for some power generation. This team guys it's gonna wreck. If, you, uh, if the shield on Sonya Blade is such a useful thing, you have to have Sonya Blade in your team. It can make even Fusion 1 characters be able to destroy the boss thanks to the Sonya shield, I'm pretty sure of it. Impressive. So as you see, I try to rotate characters, so I don't get too much damage to any single character. I'm trying to catch all special attacks on Sonya's shields. Okay, just die. I need him to be as full as possible for the last battle. Do anything you can to prevent damage dealt to your characters. As you see, my characters are almost full still, thanks to the Sonya shield. In Tower 3 is getting harder because you're getting random modifiers, like right now I have injured, I can't use my special one, which is not a big deal, I wasn't planning on it. And we're fighting, god damn it, it's injured, and we're fighting against a team with Cold War Sonya. That's great, I can't use special one to break the shield. So, for the first character I'm not even gonna use any specials at all, because I'll just, I'll just kill him with basic damage. But for his next characters, I definitely want to break his shield and then kill him, like this. Breaking shield and power draining. And now killing him with Kenshi. Okay, a little miscalculation. I didn't want to get all this damage done to my guy. But let's finish this guy with basic damage again. Alright. Thank god I was able to catch her special 2 on the shield because special 2, her special 2 is really nasty. Let's break her shield now because I'm pretty sure I'll have enough power to finish her off. And now let's go to Sonya because she's still got shield. Just in case, I don't want any damage to happen to my guys, I want him to be as strong as possible. Impressive. Beautiful. Okay, I think there is one more battle before the big boss. The 
that was so goddamn bad. Uh, I lost one character already. Okay, we didn't lose yet. Mm, painful. Mm, so painful. Try to take your to give your characters about uh, equal amount of damage. So when you use souls to heal, you definitely need to heal before the boss battle because I even lost my Kenshin. Thank God I lost my weakest character. But I, I'll, I'll definitely want to spend some souls on healing before the boss battle. Alright, so uh, as you see, I can pretty much safely heal them twice for 25%. So my two guys... Are they even gonna be full? Yeah, they're gonna be full. Oh, Sony is almost full, but my Kenshi is full. So, yeah, this is the team I'm trying to take the boss... Uh, Scorpion. I'm not sure how strong he is. Maybe I didn't even need so much healing. He does have just 33k health. I mean 63. So it's 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 twice less as Jade. So probably I didn't even need that healing. But god damn it, I didn't I I didn't expect uh, the pre-boss battle to be so hard. So as you see, I'm trying not to do any more any much damage to this guy. Like just basic attacks in combo enders. And he already got his first damage increase. That's fine. Okay. My Kenshi, he, he may basically... He will die soon, so... Let's go to Sonya. Hello. I think I don't even need X-rays on him. Or do I? But I definitely don't want him to get the second damage boost. Because if he does strong special attack on the character he will kill him with another damage boost so I'm just I'm just keeping it slow guys I'm just I'm just mostly blocking sometimes landing an attack okay I'm gonna do special I'm gonna start with special tools because I don't even I don't even care get defense this is not good and I, I ain't got no shield on this guy I need to be really careful I got a shield still on this girl so it's good She's almost ready to get to X-ray. Two X-rays in the end are gonna land. I don't know why I did. I made a mistake when I used a Genshi. Oh wait, does, so this guy doesn't uh, increase in damage uh, with the time. It's he increases uh, damage with the. Uh... That was a little bit sad. Okay, guys, it's a terrible guy. Don't don't even. Yep. I have no idea how I won. Okay, I made so many mistakes. So I I assumed that he gets more damage with the time. With, with uh, when he takes more damage, he becomes more powerful. That's how most of the bosses works. But this guy, he just becomes more powerful with every freeze attack. So you definitely want to try to kill him as soon as possible. So everything else stands, but probably getting to X-rays is not going to be the best idea. Maybe you do want to use special tools, especially if you have maxed out Subtle Tattoo or Soul Medallion, and you can make it cost one bar of power, it's probably going to be the better bet. But anyway, you want to try and catch all damage dealing special attacks on your shield, that's for sure. Okay, we won! By small margin, so close, but we won, and I'm getting Shao Kahn, guys. Take a look at this beauty. I'm getting Shao Kahn on my uh, b beginner account. Well, almost. Yes, Sonya is still alive and still she can do uh, the the smash. Some people ask how to do the smash. You just use two fingers, just like this. Boy, oh, you can even use three fingers. You can use as many fingers as you want. You can even use your nose and tap your screen. It's still gonna be a win. It's pretty easy. I don't know how you can have trouble with it. I mean... Even with one finger, I'm pretty sure you can tap fast enough. Doesn't matter. Okay, use two fingers or even three fingers, just like this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Alright, give me Shao Kahn, baby. Yes! My f second diamond card in my beginner account. If another player uses here as an ally, you also get alliance points. Why do you tell me this right now?
Fantastic. Welcome back. You're mine now. Victory shall be mine. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be as helpful as the previous one. But maybe it was. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next one. Subscribe. Love ya.